What's going on YouTubers, gamers and fellow hobbyists? Welcome to this episode of P and Q, which is the question and answer series where you ask me questions or put comments to me and then I respond to you the following month. Uh, I had quite a good um, P and Q last time, quite a few questions, so that's good. So we're going to go into those. Um, I'm also going to be combining this video. It's also going to it's going to be a and a It's also going to be a <clears throat> kind of a life update, channel update, and you know, news flash, whatever you want to call it. It's an update anyway. Um, as you may uh, you may know, I've <clears throat> I've not been putting out many videos lately. Like, bear in mind that the majority of my videos are about two weeks in advance when they're filmed. Filmed about two weeks in advance. Especially my like on the benches and things. Um I've not been able to do that lately. Cause um well things have there's been a development. <clears throat> now my patrons if you've seen the video I put up for the patrons uh, will know why. And uh, I'll I'd, I'd rather just get it over with as soon as I can, really. Um, the fact is, the job at Royal Mail, that one I applied for and started, and really enjoyed, didn't work out. It didn't work out, so I'm no longer doing that job for Royal Mail. That's not to say I'm, at the time of recording this, it's not to say I'm not working for Royal Mail anymore. I'm not working at the moment. They are in the process of trying to find me a different role, and I'll, I'll, I'll go into that well, I'll, I'll just quickly explain. I've been very poorly lately. I started the new job poorly with a chest infection and a cold, which for someone with MS is not a good thing um, because no immune system, right? Now, it, I didn't get better, I got worse, steadily worse. And not only that, I found the job, although I love the job, it's a great job, with great people, great place. Physically, just too much for me. And about a week ago, I, at the time of recording this, about a week ago now, I suffered a complete physical shutdown. My body, I collapsed, and that was it. Very, very poorly. Um, of course, the knock-on effect of this is that, uh, you know, it's affected me mentally. It's, I, you know, I'm absolutely gutted that I can't do it, do this job. But um, at the end of the day, I've got to think of my health. Health comes first and foremost. I didn't realise my limitations, I suppose, is what it comes down to. And the reason for that is, quite simply, the way I deal with my condition of MS is I tend to not pay it too much attention. I don't give it attention. I ignore it. And that way I feel normal. Especially when I'm out here doing my stuff. The trouble is, feeling normal, yeah, you kind of it kind of gives you a false sense of security as to what you can and can't do and you end and i ended up thinking i was normal and i was healthy and i could do this um reality kicks in <laughs> no you can't do this pete it's beyond you now and it was a harsh learning lesson it really was um so so that's it so the crux of it is i wasn't able to do that my dream job no, no sooner had it started than the dream ended, but heck, I'm glad I went for it and I'm glad I, I, I'm glad I did what I did. I'm certainly glad I left my previous job because that was killing me in more ways than one, but you know, that's enough of that. But yeah, so, you know, I'm, I've, I've, what does it mean for me? I don't know. It's meant I've not been in a very good place, uh, both physically and mentally lately. I've not been able to paint for quite some time. I've 
you know, I've picked the models up. I've just not been able to do it, but I still have the the will and the the enthusiasm up up in my uh, up in the skull here. So uh, I'm hoping it will come back as part of the healing process. And um, yeah, so I've got some questions put to me by your good selves, which I will get to. And I know, annoying as it is, I know it's annoying, but I'm going to have to have my cup of tea drinking this as I do so, because my throat, part of my cold has been a sore throat, and I just need to keep keep it lubricated, so if you don't mind. Hmm. I'm going to be doing that. Right. So on to the questions, then. And we'll see what we can see. Uh, don't forget, leave your questions down below or email me at miniwarzone at gmail.com. There'll be a link in the video description below for that. Um, if, if you make a video yourself, some people used to... Do you remember back along, people used to do questions on videos? And then people would do responses. I used to enjoy that. But uh, yeah, so you can do that still if you want to. And if I see it, of course, and then, uh, then I will get back to you. Anyway... I don't have any emails from last month's show and I haven't spoken to anybody in person so it's literally just, I haven't seen any videos or questions on so it's literally just the comments that were left on the last Q&A P&Q video and we're going to start with Billy Pate who's at the, at the, uh, the top of the list here Billy Pate he says nice q and I've heard there might be Eight and a half inch Primaris action figures coming out. What are your thoughts on this? And if true, are you going to get any? I, I heard they were going to be doing action figures. Um, am I going to get any? Um, I don't know. Um, probably not. Um, particularly at the moment. Um, finances now being what they are, I'm I'm in a I'm not in a, I'm not in the best position financially to do it. That said, I would like to, I think. They sound fun. They do sound fun. And who knows? Things change. I mean, look at what's changed between the last uh, P&Q to this one. Or even take a couple of P&Qs ago. Look how drastic my life has changed. So who's to say what will happen between this uh, P&Q and the next one? I hope good things. Right. So who knows? I, I may end up getting some. You don't know. If I'm able to, I might look at that. Might. Thank you for your question, Billy. Frost and Fist is next. Oh, I've got crumbs all over me. I do apologise. I just had my lunch and it was um, it's a very crumbly uh, like pizza bread thing I, I had. So, um, yeah. So, sorry I look a mess. I'm just chilling at the moment, trying to get my head around things. And This is my sanctuary, you see. This studio, Mini Warzone, is my sanctuary. The outside world doesn't exist when I'm in here. Um, yeah. <laughs> uh, anyway, Frost and Fists. It says, really awesome episode, my brother. Very interesting answers. You mentioned being an innkeeper. Oh, yes, because uh, you asked me what I would be. Uh, this brings to mind Otik from the D&D Dragonlance novels. Otik spiced potatoes are a special dis dish renowned in those novels. As a comforting dish that people used to travel to the town of Solace for. Yes. Now, whenever I ordered spicy potatoes from my local kebab shop many years ago, I always used to think of Otik spicy potatoes from the Dragonlance novels. Oh, and it was like... And they were gorgeous. Um, I don't think they do them anymore. I don't even think the um, that kebab shop is still in existence. But um, I always used to think of that and the Dragon Lance books. And, um, and whenever I ate them, I used to think, "Oh, I'm having a I'm having a taste of solace right now." Anyway, he says, much like the famous Otic spiced potatoes, Harry Potter's butter beer, or Mrs. Minnie Warzone's special tea to awaken nose with fairy blood. Ha! <laughs> Are there any food or drinks that stood out to you? Take care, my brother, Wolf Brother Mephos. Well, of course, you know, we've just been talking about the spice potatoes, but yes, they really did stand out to me. Um, 
Harry Potter's Butterbeer. I suppose I quite liked the idea of, is it Bertie Bots or Flavor Beans? The really weird ones. They stood out to me. Of course, Mrs. Minnie Warzone's special tea. Uh, um, the Luminosa um, tea. Used to awaken those with favor. You know, Mr. Mephos, you... You've brought a smile to my face for the first time. It's the first time I've smiled in a while. And thank you for reminding me of uh, my wife's book there. Thank you ever so much. Uh, it, it, it's <coughs> making me smile because... Um, I want to be working on the marketing of her next book. Because when her next book comes out, that will be a trilogy all done and completed then. And I feel personally that the marketing will be able to be done um, in a greater capacity. And uh, Yeah, so planning on doing some conventions for that. Maybe a bit of cosplay, who knows? Yeah, Bertie Bot's All Flavoured Beans. I think that's what they were called, I think. Um, let me see, what else was there? Uh, yes. The When I was a small child, um, and I first read Charlie and the Chocolate Factory, I always used to um, want one of the Wonka bars. Oh, they just sounded amazing, absolutely amazing. Of course, in real life, yeah, they're just chocolate. But um, when you read the book, it's like, wow, this this reads like the greatest chocolate bar in the universe. It really does. And when they're on that boat on that chocolate lake and he scoops it up and just like drinks like the melted chocolate, I was like, oh, oh, oh yes. Yeah, boy, that's what we want. What a great question, Mephos. Thank you. Very thought-provoking. There's probably, actually, it's probably quite a lot of foods in many things that, um, particularly books. I'm going to be thinking about this now. Um, yeah. But, yeah, the Otix Spiced Potatoes is kind of a thing with me whenever I have spiced potatoes anywhere or any potatoes that are cut up like that um because uh, my daughter does like um potato wedges uh, although they're not like the potatoes that you would get from like the kebab shop like in terms of shape they're wedge shape because she cuts them out like but she makes them lovely with herbs and goodness knows what and the way she cooks them it's just it's just lovely um I, I think of otic spiced potatoes then yeah. Hmm. That's a great... That really is a great question, Mephos. Thank you so much. Moving on to Wizard Wargaming. I'm in a sip of tea. It says, Hey, Pete. How are you? I'm not great. I'm... As I say, I'm in the process of healing both mentally and physically. And I want to get back to where I was making videos for you all and myself. Um, particularly the on the bench um, videos because I find them therapeutic. They're like therapy for me. I'm just going to move the camera slightly. There we go. Yeah, I find that as a kind of therapy which I enjoy. I just like sitting here in the warm in my studio chatting to you all. Now I know uh, Chris Bello, Bello I, I don't know how you pronounce his name, uh, the guy Chris from Mini Wargaming, used to be in Mini Wargaming, he's not with them anymore. Um, much like his, his um, Way of the Brush series that he does, he tends to do that live. And I've often thought about doing, you know, the show's life, but I don't, I know I, I don't have the audience at the moment in this stage of the uh, channel career uh, that I would need really to do that, I feel. But I, it is something I would like to do uh, someday, like a regular live show would be kind of cool. Um, I'd, I guess I'd have to look at Twitch then as well, but I, I'm not really in... You know, I'm not really into that. I'm more of a YouTube 
uh, fan myself. But yeah, I, I'm I'm not in the best of places right now. But I'm I am getting there. I'm definitely getting there. I mean, the fact that I'm making this video at all is is quite um, it's quite good. This is only the second video I've made since it ha all happened, and I had to admit defeat with my uh, job and say, look, I can't do this. Um, you know, and I, I spoke to them and they were lovely about it. Because I said, look, I'm just, with this condition I've got, I just can't do it. And they were very understanding. And that's why they said, look, we'll see if there's anything. Can't promise anything, but we'll see if there's anything else, you know, that comes up that you could do. And I've spoken to them a couple of times since then. At the moment, there isn't. Yeah, that's the way it is. Um, I am applying for um, a temporary job with them, with the manual data entry that I used to do years ago with them, years ago, which is an easy job, but it's, you know, easy job, easy money. You don't have to think in it, and, uh, you know, that's kind of cool. If I could get that, that might help for a little while, a few weeks, till I get something else. Um, yeah, he says, it's been a while, but gradually I'm getting back into some hobby stuff. Well, I'm glad to hear that you are, because, you know, I miss your, um, your chats. Uh, great to hear you got a new job. I'm really happy for you. Well, I did have, but it's gone now, you know, that's, uh, life, you know, that is life. How are you liking your new job in a, a few weeks in? Well, I would say... The job itself, apart from the physicality of it, was brilliant. Loved it. Start early, finish early, boom. Perfect. But physically, just not up to it. Carrying big sacks of mail. And almost running with it. And it was... Uh, some of the round was a bit scary with steep steps and that. You know, my balance isn't great, and I just I had visions of me falling down it. Black and it just take it would take one slip, and I could probably kill myself. I know that sounds a bit melodramatic, but um, you know it's a fact I have to sort of consider. Um, two. This is the second question. Ah, uh, is there a, an upcoming release you are really looking forward to? Not particular, not especially. Uh, I look forward to all of it. You know, I, I enjoy all of it. There's nothing you know, like. I'm like, oh, I can't wait for that to come out because I must have that. Because I haven't played in so long. It's been over a year since I played a game of 40k, um, which is criminal, really. Um, but yeah, I suppose there is actually because the last game I played was Zombicide. And as you know, I love me some Zombicide. So I suppose an upcoming release I'm looking forward to would be um, the new Zombicide when that comes out. Because yeah. I want, I'm anxious to see if there is any backwards compatibility with it, with like see, you know the first um, you know Mark One Zombicide, or or whether it's it's a standalone. Either way, I think it's going to be good news for people that like Zombicide. For me, yeah, because it means that the the first edition kind of Zombicide stuff should, theoretically, get cheaper. Which is a good thing, especially now with my finances the way they are. Hmm. So I would have to say Zombicide second edition. Uh -huh. Thank you for your question, Wizard Wargaming. Ah, Atomic Dog Scale Model Freak is next. Hey, Brian, how's it going, my man? So, hey, Pete, congrats on the 2K subs. Yay, thank you, sir. And may I say, I was planning on doing a giveaway. I was planning on doing a giveaway whilst, once I got myself sorted in my new job. But now I have no new job. I'm back to... You know financial poverty again so at the moment i don't even have any any sort of benefit coming in nothing at all so i'm literally scratching around uh for every penny i can get um but it is something i would like to do in the future definitely i might end up 
because you know of the timing it may be a belated giveaway but there will be a giveaway in the future so rest assured there will be it says keep making the cool vids thank you you know build it they will come pete if you had a choice to take one power from darth vader or professor x what would it be also, which Marvel comic group is your favourite? X-Men, Defenders, etc. Right. Well, the, okay, well, let's go one at a time. If I had a choice to take one power from Darth Vader or Professor X, what would it be? Oh. It would be Force Choke from Darth Vader. I find your lack of faith disturbing. Yeah, force choke. Because he could do an awesome force choke. Uh, Marvel comic group. Which Marvel comic group is my favourite? Well, in terms of the comics, The Avengers is my favourite. In terms of the movies, it's The X-Men. But comic-wise, it is The Avengers. Definitely The Avengers. It says, take care. Thank you, sir. Will do. Great question. Okay, moving on. Uh, next one is from Vels Hade. I, I don't know if I'm pronouncing that correctly. So forgive me if I'm not. I'm not slouching in my chair. It's kind of one of those chairs that rock. It's kind of a office rocking chair. You know, the type. It says, thanks for the video. I'm going to cough. Cover the mic. <coughs> what? Good job I didn't try making this video a few weeks ago because I was coughing for England. So thanks for the video. Is there an aspect of the hobby that surprised you with how much you've enjoyed it? I, since I started working on my Orc Army kit bashing, is something... Sorry, since I've started working on my Orc Army, <laughs> kit bashing is something I'm having a ton of fun doing. That just sounded like a waste of time before. Um... An aspect of the hobby I enjoy is collecting, although not able to do much of it. But there is something considerably satisfying with having it there on your shelf or in your drawer. Getting it out from time to time, just looking at it and saying, that's mine. It's my collection. Mine. No, no one else's. Uh, it's mine alone to do with what I please. And I enjoy that, whether it's models or books or, or or anything. Any, I even like the boxed games. Because I'm looking at them now, that come, um, the actual boxes they're in, like Space Hulk, Necromunda, um, what's the other one? Um, can't think off the top of my head now. But yeah, you know, and all the starter box sets are just the big boxes. I like collecting them as well. The Kill Team, all that. Um, yeah so collecting i i could see why you keep bashing with orcs because they they lend themselves to that very much much so it's not something i've been very good at ever um i suppose the most sort of kit bashing fun i have is when it's combining little the like the 28 mil uh, infantry like with different arms and weapons options and things like that but um, I wish I was better, better at it because I see some amazing conversions out there. They are, I mean, amazing, really amazing. I, uh, yeah, really, really good. Thank you for your questions, sir. Uh, William Kuby is next, says, okay, question next time. Will you be doing vids on your route? Um, uh, you do as you post, as a postman. Fun to see the UK as seen by going around the other neighbourhoods. And yes, do not get into trouble. If can't, we'll see us go. Well, I wouldn't have been able to do it anyway. Oh, well, for the one thing, I'm, I'm no longer doing that job anymore, but I wouldn't be able to do it anyway because just not enough time and you don't have enough hands. You don't have enough hands as it is. You've got to carry your, your mail, um, your your um, they do these letter holders now for houses with dogs. You got to have that on you. You got to have a handset, digital handset for scanning the mail in. You got to have a pen. You've got to have some 
um, notice left notes. Uh, you know, I, you know, I called, but you weren't in. And also some, I've left your parcel with a neighbor notes. That's different again. And you've got to have all that on you and the mail and the bundle that you're carrying at the time. Just wouldn't be able to carry a camera as well. It's just not possible. Even on your phone, you just wouldn't be able to do it. I could go around some of the rounds I used to go in my free time when I'm better. Maybe next summer I could probably possibly do that. Just to show you some, not actually go through it, but from a certain vantage point, how precarious some of the routes were and the steps. So yeah, I could do that possibly, maybe. We'll see. Anyway, thank you for your question. Moving on to Idic Beer. So it's nice answers, Pete. Thank you, Nick. Says so what what do you what do you how to achieve? What do you how to achieve hobby and non hobby? Oh, what do you hope to achieve hobby and non hobby by the end of the year? Right, okay, sir, let's Hobby wise. Sorry, I'm realised I was just um covering my microphone and so yeah, like sorry about that. Apologies. Um, Hobby-wise, what do I hope to achieve? Um, ooh, that's a tough one, you know, because I'm doing different things all the time. Um, can I? Can I? I'm going to answer a couple um, for that. I think. Hobby-wise, one of the things I would like to achieve is to have another game of 40k by the end of the year. Please, you know, guys, you know who I am. <laughs> yeah, um, I'd like to have another game of 40k by the end of the year. That would be nice, just to set it up and, you know, throw it down and boom, let's go. Um, I, I need to get a bit more organised in here. Um, I want to do another um, solo RPG playthrough and a Zombicide uh, playthrough by the end of the year. That, I don't know, maybe pushing it, I don't know, because it's not a lot of time before the end of the year, to be honest. as a non-hobby. One of the things I want to achieve is to get well again, because I've got a little way to go. Get a job, because I need a job. I need money. Um, yeah, those two things. Yeah, okay. Uh, last question then. It comes from Basic Miniature Painting. It says, Hi Pete, sorry not asked a question for, for a while. If you could improve your painting, in what way would you do it? Mm, what way would I do it? I would like to improve my wet blending because I've it's something I've always struggled with and it, I either managed to pull it off lovely and it's sweet as a nut or it just looks rubbish and I end up going over it or doing something different because it's so crap um, so I would like to gain more consistency with my wet blending that would be something I would like to do um, also with your love of the moon what are your thoughts on China's race to put a man on the moon my thoughts on it well, I think, well, as that's the last question, I'm going to put my questions to one side, but I can answer it. I think that there's an awful lot, I mean, there's an awful lot of conspiracy, uh, conspiracy theorists out there about the moon and Mars and goodness knows what else. And that aside, I do think there's an awful lot that they don't tell us with what goes on. With like their space races and ex exploration and that. I think they, whoever they are, know an awful lot more than we think they know. My thoughts on their race to put a man on the moon? I think it's great. Yes, do it. I think the more people do it, the you know, the, the, the better we'll end up being as a, a species, as a civilization. 
I think we need to, you know, be able to do stuff like that. You know, we need to start colonising, guys. I think, you know, I'd be one step closer to putting a man on Mars. I mean, imagine that. I, I just can't imagine it. I mean, putting a man on the moon is pretty darn incredible. When you think about it, really incredible. Can you imagine putting a man on Mars? Or you know, somewhere like that? Wow. And I believe that's um, something they're aiming for, towards. So to put a man on the moon, the more times you can do that, the better, I think. I think we need to colonise the moon. Set up a kind of a, a, a base on the moon. A base to with which to launch rockets from because that at least that way you haven't got um the earth's gravity um using up all your fuel like it does for us to break out of the atmosphere of earth it wouldn't be so bad i think i i don't know i don't know i'm not a rocket scientist but uh, you know it just uh yeah but there's an awful lot i think we we could get from Having a presence on the moon, at least a permanent presence, that would be uh, that'd be something I would be interested in. I know that China's got their um, their rover that's going about the moon, um, but I don't know too much about that. Um, but yeah, I mean these rovers are pretty sophisticated, aren't they? I mean the Opportunity rover that's on um, was it the Curiosity? Sorry. I always get them mixed up. The Curiosity rover that's on Mars, I mean, is a really incredible piece of technology. The fact that it's gone on as long as it has is so darn incredible. It blows my mind. Um, I think the China rover that's on the moon should be able to last a very long time. So I think... I think it'll be very good and very possible for them to get a man on the moon. And why not? Why not indeed? I, I think it's a good thing. Anyway, that, let's have a look at the time here. Oh, wow. I've really rambled on, haven't I? Really gone on today, but that, to be fair, I did have that update to tell you about involving my job. Um, so just trying to get over the fact, you know, that I'm not a failure, but I did. I gave it my best shot. I physically I just couldn't do it it was beyond me and uh, I don't have a hat but if I had one I have actually got one out here. but my hat goes off to all postmen and women out there because it's man it can be a very very hard job very hard job money is really good but my good my goodness they earn every penny of it they really do and I did for a couple of weeks. <laughs> I really felt I earned it. Well, but then I just, like I say, I just collapsed and my body's like, nope, you're not doing it. You can't do it. And to be honest, guys, I'd rather be alive and poor than, you know, rich with a shorter lifespan. Mm. I'd rather be alive for longer and poorer. It's just my view. It's like Han Solo says in The Empire Strikes Back, isn't it? Uh, what good's a reward if you ain't around to use it? Absolutely. Anyway, guys. If you want to help me, help support me and my channel, uh, check out my Patreon page. Because uh, that would help me immensely. Um, at the moment, it's going to, you know, it, it's going to help me sort of, like, put food in my mouth. And, you know, turn the lights on and things like that. That's, that's how desperate the situation is right now um, but yeah so you can head on over there that will, that will gain you access to exclusive videos um, without advertisements and they'll be in HD of course um, so you will get that you'll get behind the scenes you'll get some paint along uh, videos exclusively for you and other stuff as well so um, you know just check it out a dollar a month that's all it is and um, yeah just try it out see what you think and then you can give me some feedback on uh, how perhaps I can make it better because I'm all for improving and improving myself and my channel. Anyway, guys, don't forget to leave your questions down below or wherever. 
down below is the best way I think it's easier to print out the stuff um, and yeah I'll see you guys on the next video remember all brushes lead to war and bye for now bye bye